Hi guys! This is the Lozzy 88. Thank you for clicking on this video. As you can see, this is going to be an unboxing video. And it is the March 2016 Guardians Z Box. Now, I have two other Z Boxes, um, which I've already opened. Not sure if I've already uploaded them because they take forever. Um, but uh, this is the first Z Box that I have paid for. So I bought this one. It was $19.99 with free PNP. And if I bought this one, I got the time travel box, which is a previous month. I think it's November of last year. I got that box and a Lucky Dip box completely free. So stay tuned. If they're not already up, they will be up soon. Um, yeah, so. Got my black nail varnish still on. Filming a few videos today. It arrived in this very dusty, very smelly, um, it's just plastic smell, not smelly smelly. Yeah, it just smells like plastic. Um, box. And I'm so excited because the reason I bought this box, the only reason I bought this box was not because I got two free, although that was a nice perk. Um, I've been looking at subscription boxes for maybe a year now, and I finally <coughs> bought a Loot Crate box last month, which is currently up on my channel, so go check that out. And uh, I really liked what was in it. I was very excited, it was like Christmas. No wonder people do this. But there is apparently something Harry Potter in here. And I want it. <laughs> Maybe it'll be an exclusive or something. That would be cool. Okay. I'm too excited. I want to open my box. <laughs> so if the previous ones are anything to go by, it is in a box inside here. Yes, it is. Oh, it was on the box. <laughs> no, it's on my camera. Is that better? Okay, let's try there. Okay. Alright, so I've maneuvered the angle a little bit better. And I'm going to do some sounds. Now, for those of you that do not know, Zbox is 
um, kind of a bit like a loot crate. It is a monthly subscription box. You can buy one month, three months, six months, 12 months. It's free PNP in the UK. I really don't know if it's free if you buy it to go to like America or something like that. I could not tell you. You'd have to look that up. It's called the Z Box because it is from the company Zavi. So I'm going to open it and let you guys see first. Because it has wings. So here we go. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm going to push it forward a little bit. Hopefully, I won't hit the, the microphone. Is there anything good in there? Okay, let's pull this flat back. box and something and then, ooh, what's that? I'm gonna get this first. What's this? Okay. okay I'm gonna put that there and close this box. Okay. okay. <clears throat> this is a Transformers figurine and 3D puzzle piece collector card. 30 to collect across two series. I don't know what I got. It's from 2014, so it's not new. See, it says just here, it says 2014. Um, so it looks like you get Okay, so you get a piece of puzzle. So there's absolutely nothing I can do with this. Um, this is a car. I don't know who that is. It says Insecticon. Oh, right. So it's a bug Decepticon type thing. So it's an Insecticon. It's, can you can you see? Kind of. It's quite quite freaky looking. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I don't understand how that is in any way related to Guardians. Because that is a bad guy. You know. Come on Zedbox, at least put one of the good guys in here. Because then they would be a Guardian, right? So that's a little bit disappointing, but it's only the first thing, so let's hope it gets better. See, I, if this had come with, like, Optimus Prime, I would be really thrilled. Or Bumblebee, or something like that, but... Why do I want bad guy? Maybe he'll go on my desk, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe he'll fit in with the Zomling in the town. I can stick him on the, on the car or something. Okay. On to the next bit. Let's see what we get. I'm not looking at you. I'm going to go from this side. I'm still feeling that box, but I think that's okay. So, oh, oh, I think this might be a shirt. Okay, let's go for the shirt. Okay, not looking. They're not looking. I can't find this. Okay, so it's a grey shirt. It's a grey shirt. It seems to have something yellow on it. I'll let you guys see first. What is it? Oh, I can't. We're going to have to look together because... Okay. What is that? It says River Rafter JD Canoe Rental Dolores River. What has that got to do with Guardians? I really don't know what that has to do with Guardians. I no idea. Really got no clue. That is the t-shirt. Don't get me wrong, I will wear the t-shirt. But I have no idea what it means. It's not like it's got a picture of a transformer on the front. And I'm like, yeah, that's a transformer. What is River Rafter JD Canoe Rental? Is it something to do with a movie or something? I don't know. I don't know. 
not as good as the time travel box so far. And the loot crate one was pretty good. I really enjoyed the loot crate box. Okay, I'm definitely saving that box for last because it feels like it could be something good. So let's let's save the best for last. Isn't that what I say? Okay, so something, something here. Sounds like a tissue. What is it? I think it's a wallet. It is a Ghostbusters paper wallet. Yeah, it's a Ghostbusters paper paper plastic. I'm not quite sure. This is the front. This is the back, and you got some slime from Slimer. And inside you have a few of the ghosts, and it says, well, it's got the phones and the car and gremlin thing and the stay puffed this is this is cool but it's really more suited to a man um, but I could use this for my cards I suppose okay let's do some sounds this is an ASMR video so if nothing else it's got good sounds If I was to judge this box on what I've received so far, I would not be happy. I am nowhere near 20 pounds of value so far. Is there something else? Okay, there's other things. There's a box there, and there's a box. Ooh, a book. Ooh, I think there's a book. Okay, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Try and close the box. I'm not looking. Still not looking. Okay. Oh god, it's Halo. <laughs> Why do I want a Halo book? <laughs> well, I'll read it. Actually, no, I've got, um, my manager's son is mad on Halo, so maybe I could give that to him for his birthday. I don't know. Let's read the blurb. Maybe it sounds interesting. I've never played Halo in my life. Okay. It is 2555, more than two years after the Master Chief went missing in action, following a decisive conflict on installation 00, the massive extragalactic forerunner construct known as the Ark. As part of the final chapter in humanity's blood, bloody 30-year struggle against the overwhelming forces of the Covenant, now as a this I'm not reading this right, now as a tenuous peace exists between the humans and the Elites. A startling scientific discovery is made, and the riddle behind its forerunner origins could well seal the fate of the entire galaxy within a matter of weeks. In order to unravel these dangerous secrets, a heroic, hastily formed coalition of humans and elites must attempt to overcome their differences as they embark on a covert mission back to the Ark, an astonishing, enigmatic place beyond comprehension, from which few have returned and where mortal danger awaits them all. I don't think I'm going to read this book. I think in the January box they gave away The Martian. I would have read that. That's the kind of th Everything here seems to be based more towards boys. Which I haven't got a problem with. I love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and stuff. But I've never played Halo. And to be honest, this looks really like 
kind of evil, very dark. I'm not quite sure what that has to do with Guardians. See, I would have expected something Guardians of the Galaxy, or maybe the Avengers. The Transformers, I understand, but I got a bad guy. He's not, he's not a good guy. He's not a Guardian. Ghostbusters, yeah, I can understand that. They're saving people from ghosts. I could get that, but it was a crappy wallet. So far, not great. Don't get me wrong. This is probably the best thing so far, but it's not for me. Never mind. I think that is everything I put the box. So let's just double check. Nope, there's something else in here I'm kind of worried about. Oh, I think there's a card. Uh, nope, that's the... Okay, I'm gonna look now. Okay, so, oh, there's a comic book at the bottom. Ah, I'm just gonna get everything that's left in the box. Okay. So I've received, oh no, it's kind of really bashed. I thought it didn't feel like a pop. Okay, so I got a really damaged box, but it's okay. And this is the first season I believe yes this is from the first season I haven't got any Harry Potter pops and this is Albus Dumbledore Dumbledore so he's pretty cool he is number four and you can get Harry Potter Ron Weasley Hermione Granger Albus Dumbledore Severus Snape Tom Riddle or Voldemort and Hagrid oh, I think I would have loved to have got Hagrid Hagrid's pretty cool but, I mean, to be honest, I'm happy with any of them. I'm really gutted that my box is damaged because I like to keep these things in their cases. But, yeah, it's really warped. Maybe I can fix that. Let's see what Dumbledore looks like. I think I'm being overly critical because the first couple of things were really kind of crappy. Here we go. So this is Dumbledore. And he's got his little glasses on. I think this is based more off of the first Dumbledore that there was. I would assume so. Um, I just, this looks like what the guy wore in the first um, movie. I can't remember his name. Oh, God rest his soul. But uh, what was his name? Oh, his body moves. And his head's on a bit wonky, which is a shame because look, his his hair sticks out over his hat. It's not quite on central, but that's okay. And he's got his little glasses, which you gotta be careful of because they're quite breakable, I think. And his body moves, so I can have him facing to one side or the other side. That's pretty cool. I like Dumbledore. There's a lot of detail on the robes and the hair and his hat's pretty cool I love the little gold stars look out the window Dumbledore let everyone see your gold stars mmm yes interesting he's really cool I like him he's gonna go on my desk you know what because the box is really damaged maybe I'll keep him out of his out of his box we'll decide and he will go with another pop that I received that you will either have already seen or will see. So we'll wait and see. Scratch his head a little bit. Give him an itch. surprised that it came in such bad shape the box because I mean it's in a hard box so what did they do did they just like slam it in that's a bit disappointing I don't know if, judging from what I've received this is the worst box and that's including the two freebies that I opened so that's saying something right this is the best though <clears throat> but I could buy this for $8.99 so so to me that is not that is not good enough being in that state 
I won't be buying any pops from Zavi. Because, like, I know it's not a lot, but I I like my things to be perfect. And this is really crumpled and warped. And if you can see, it's, like, completely curved all the way around the side. On this side, it's damaged. Like, it's completely crushed. That's... I've seen people receive them, and they're normally in really good condition, so I'm really disappointed by that. Okay, the last thing in the box, which I'm excited about, my first ever comic. I have received a graphic novel, and now I have a comic. And it is Heroes Godsend. I love Heroes. And it says it's a prelude to the TV series Heroes Reborn. Um, and it's by Joey Falco and Roy Alana Martinez. And it's a Z box exclusive cover, so that's really cool. Um, it's the April 2016, and it is number one. So is it just a one? Is there just going to be one? I don't know. Oh, it, it seems to open on quite a... Like, the first picture is... Oh, right, okay. I thought that was blood. It's pomegranates. <laughs> So this is the quality. It's really, really good. I'm very, very happy with that. Um, and looks like we're going to get some... What is this? I'm trying to kind of quickly see what it is. So it looks like we've got someone invisible. Ooh, oh, that's Assassin's Creed. I don't do Assassin's Creed. Okay. So this looks like it could be really good. I'm going to read that. I'm going to love this. Snowpiercer, don't know what that is. I really want to read the Walking Dead comics. They look amazing. But to back order is very expensive. And there's a lot of them. Oh, so there is another one. So next. Yeah. Maybe I will. Oh, The Walking Dead. Ooh, The Walking Dead. The official. Oh, it's a magazine. I don't want a magazine. Okay. So it looks like the main cover is in color. And there's a variant cover, which is. Wait, what? Oh, there's. So there's. The main cover is in color. There is a variant of an actual person. I'm assuming the person who plays this person. And then we got the black and white version, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure this is really my cup of tea, but I will give it a read. And then we also got the Z Box magazine. I really did not think this was a Guardian's box. Dumbledore, yeah, he guards Harry and he protects everybody he can. I get that. I don't know enough about Halo. I really don't know if they're good guys or bad guys. I don't know. I just, I think it has a lot of shooting in it. So, yeah. So, last month's box, I definitely would not have wanted. I do not want a Chucky doll. Okay. And some maze, there's some stuff that they're selling. They're doing a steel box of Labyrinth. If you have not seen the movie Labyrinth, you should. David Bowie is amazing, and so is, oh god, what's her name? What does it say? It doesn't. Oh god, I can't think of her name. Jennifer Connolly. Is it Jennifer Connolly? I think it's Jennifer Connolly. Okay, so unlikely guardians. We have Leon from. Leon the Professional, we have Wally and Eve, Phoenix Wright, here Guardian, Red from Orange is the New Black, Tyrion Lannister from Game of Thrones, again I would not say he was a Guardian, let's be honest, Bronn protect, protects him more than anything, or at least he did, Wheatley from Portal 2, have not done that, so we are Groot, so we could learn to say in Japanese, um, I am Groot. Watashi wa Gruto. There you go. That is I am Groot in Japanese. 
Okay, oh, so you could get a choice of a few. Okay, it's going to tell us about the t-shirt. Oh, it's a Guardians of the Galaxy t-shirt. Okay. Oh, I think it's just a t-shirt that one of the characters was wearing. It says, if you ever get abducted by aliens, wearing this t-shirt will no doubt bring you some of the good luck that Peter Quill had in Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay. So it's just a regular t-shirt that was in a movie. Great. Uh, the Z box. Oh, okay. So this book is apparently a Z box exclusive. And a heroic, hastily formed coalition of humans and alliance must overcome their differences as they embark on a covert mission back to the Ark after a startling scientific discovery is made. The back sounded very confusing. So, yeah. Uh, we got Ghostbusters Wallet, need guarding from ghosts or the woes of pocket change. Then who are you going to call Ghostbusters? It's not a bad wallet. I'll use it for my cards, but that's it. A Harry Potter pop vinyl which is by Funko. Um, Harry Potter may have been the boy who lived, but he would never have survived long if it weren't for his friends and guardians. Which of Harry's companions will you get? And you could get Snape, Hermione, Ron, or Dumbledore. I think I would have liked Snape, you know, with, um, with uh, Alan Rickman having not long passed away. I would have probably really liked Snape, but I can buy Snape, it's fine, I'll buy Snape. He would have gone with my nail varnish. Transformers figure freedom is the right of all sentient beings, according to Optimus Prime. So it's pretty unfortunate for him that the sentient human race isn't all that great at protecting themselves from Decepticons. Thanks for helping us guard Earth, Autobots. Now it looks like in here so they get Bumblebee. So was I supposed to get one of the Transformers rather than a Decepticon? I don't know. Uh, what does my Patronus say about me? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Okay, ooh, ooh, this is one. The battle, I know these two characters. This is great. Charged with the protection of supernatural wards, both Watchers and White Lighters play their part in saving the world by keeping their witches and slayers alive. If you've watched Charmed or Buffy, I have the full box sets, then you're bound to have a favorite here. So bring on the fight between Giles and Leo. And it says, the Watcher. Rupert Giles may appear to be a classic, mild-mannered Brit to the untrained eye, but he turned his back on wilder days after taking up his mantle as Watcher. Proficient in witchcraft and sorcery, Giles typically helps Buffy with his vast magical knowledge, but isn't afraid of using raw violence to get the job done. Okay, and then the White Lighter, we got Leo. Ex-army White Lighter, Elder, Avatar and Father, Leo Wyatt, guardian angel to the charmed ones has spent his life protecting others though he typically prioritizes his supernatural duties in the end he will always risk everything to keep the Halliwell sisters safe why wasn't there anything buffy or charmed in the box like there are obvious ones okay so it seems like leo boosts leo seems to win in pretty much all the things they match in kindness giles has got more kills um giles is not immortal Im has no immortality so he is pretty much losing on that one his knowledge is slightly higher but his magic power is less i still think if given a battle between those two giles would win giles kicks ass leo's a little bit of a wet blanket isn't he you know, he's mostly the, we must do this the calm way, we must not fight. Which is great, but it does not always work, as you will see. So, next month is Batman. I don't think I'm getting this box again. I really am not impressed with it. Um, I think I'm going to look into getting a different box. So, it's a shame, because the only things in the whole box that I actually like is the... Funko Pop, Mr. Dumbledore here. And the comic book will take me, I don't know, 10 minutes to read, and then I'll be done with it. That's pretty much it. So if we go through on a value basis, this box is £20. As I say, these are £9 at the moment, and they actually have a two for 15, I think, a two for £15 offer. So I'm gonna use it for the £9. So £9 for him. This says it is $4, which is approximately £2.50. 
So 9, 10, 11, 50. This says it is 7.99. Okay, if you say so. I don't understand why it is a Z-Box exclusive. There is nothing in it that says it is a Z-Box exclusive. Um, so that's, what's that, 11.50 plus 8, 19.50. I wouldn't pay more than a pound for that. And I wouldn't pay more than a pound for that. Even though they probably think they're worth more than that. I really would not give more than a pound for that. And I would not give more than a pound for that. If that was a character I liked, I might pay a bit more. But I'm not paying more than a pound for that. So I just about get my value. But those three things, I'm not going to use. Pretty much. I might use that one. Might. So I'll put that one there. So those two things I'm not going to use. Eight... 9, 10, 11, 50. So I've paid 20 pounds and I've got 11 pounds 50 worth of stuff. I would be more disappointed if I didn't know what I got in my free boxes because I've got my value just because I ordered the free boxes. If I ordered this box, I would be very disappointed. Um, I think there are better options for guardians Thank God for the Harry Potter being a pop. Oh, hang on, there's a t-shirt as well. I forgot about the t-shirt because it's kind of crappy. And a t-shirt. I will wear the t-shirt. I would say it's worth maybe seven pounds. So, yeah, I've got my value. This will be a good workout shirt. From when I go to my exercise class, that'll be okay. So, yeah, I'm not as impressed with this one. I'm really not. Um... Yeah, I'm going to pack it away and sulk a little bit because it's kind of crappy. I think I might try um, Colossal Crate. I saw a video with somebody uh, the other day and it was Colossal Crate. I think I might check those out and maybe not get this one. They're the same price and you seem to get way more value in that one. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change to Colossal Crate. All right, say bye, Dumbledore. Goodbye. Awesome. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.